What's going on guys, Simon here, and today I'm gonna to explain to you how Walmart is trying to change the game once again. If this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon, so anytime we make videos here with myself or the D2E kids, you guys will find out first and give us a big like and thumbs up. Let us know if you like what we're talking about today, or if you wanna see more information, just like this one, leave a comments in below. Now, straight ahead, we're gonna go right to the reason why we're here. Walmart, the biggest conglomerate of everything. If you conceive it, they probably sell it. They sell everything from tires to your car. You can even buy a casket online at walmart.com. If you don't believe me, after this video, go look. You'll see what I'm talking about. They're changing the game once again. Earlier in December of 2017, Amazon had made an announcement of doing something called Amazon Go. This is their brick and mortar store. Basically, anything Amazon, you could order it from there, okay? Walmart's changed their, kind of stepped it up a little bit. Now, getting rid of cashiers completely. Completely. You can go on your phone to the Walmart app or an app that they're in the process of developing one of the two or you can get a scanner. If you don't want to put your cell phone or link up to all that crap, get a little hand scanner, walk through and scan anything you want. Keeps a tally, just like a register would. When you're done, hit your cat checkout button. Boop, guess what? You just paid for everything you just put in your cart. Walk to the greeter, show them your deal, out you go. Time saver, I can see. I'm not really sure how it's gonna work though. I mean, if you don't have that, you have the little hand scanner, go to a little self checkout, scan your barcode, you're done. Okay. Concept's great. One problem jobs. How many people are getting ready to lose jobs over this? You know? States like Texas, Florida, South Dakota, Georgia, Kentucky, and I think Arkansas already have these kind of starting up to where they're, these are the markets they're starting them in first, see if it works. Okay, cool. Did not, didn't they learn their lesson with these fast food workers want $15 an hour for what they do? Okay, what do they do? Now you walk in, you have a big giant screen, you just order everything there. Killing the jobs. People like you and me that, you know, well, actually, I mean, I, I work, hopefully you work, you know, but those that are looking for jobs, part, ain't going to be able to find them anymore. Unemployment rate, I have a feeling, is getting ready to skyrocket. Because as it is, they got 40 checkouts. Three people there. You have your self checkouts. That's where they don't have to have employees running these checkouts. You just walk up, scan it all yourself and pay them for you to scan your stuff. But yet the prices aren't cheaper. Think about that. I guarantee you prices are gonna go up even more now. It's all gonna go into their pockets. Not to the employer, the employees I should say. The consumers aren't gonna catch a deal or catch a break. They're gonna raise the prices even more now to pay for all this Technology they got to use. <sighs> Times are moving fast. I heard some people, and I'll even post a link to the story below to where you can go read it yourself. This is my take on it. People are excited. Oh, it's great. It, it made it a lot easier to check out. You can see what you're getting and how much your total is as you're going. I get that. I really do. Some people say it's like the Jetsons. Really? The Jetsons? We barely made it past the Flintstone era. We're not going to jump to the Jetsons just yet. There's still a long way to go when it comes to that. I mean, technology's evolving. And this is where it's getting to. The average person like you or me can walk in now, not have to deal with anybody. Just walk in, scan the barcodes of what you want, cash it out and go. Convenience, yes. Still 
see a problem with the fact of a lot of people aren't going to be working now. Those cashiers that were getting 20, 30, 20 hours a week aren't going to be there anymore. What are they going to do? Walmart has this thing now where you can order your groceries online. They go pick them out for you. You pull up and they give it to you. That's cool. For people that are disabled or elderly, they can't get out and do all that. I get it. It helps. It, it, it's a help. It, it helps people. I get that. But what about the people that are going to be affected with all this other stuff going on? The people that are going to lose hours, lose jobs. You know, it's it's going to cause more. I think it's going to cause more problem than it is good. You may not see it right off the bat. Or if you do, it's going to be a big hit. So it's gonna be. It's gonna be. It could. It I mean. It's. What's your thoughts? You tell me. These are mine. I think it's gonna affect the people like you and me that prices are gonna go up. Less employees. More money for Walmart. Not the employees that they care say they care about. Care about. We care about our employees. I used to work at Walmart. That's a whole other ball game. Tell me what you guys think. If you lived in one of these markets that have these type of stores going on, tell me your experience in the comments below. Write your experience. I want to know what this is about to you guys. Do you think it's going to be a good thing or a bad thing? Only time will tell. I mean, hopefully it works, but I really don't see it in being that good of a deal. Guys, this is Simon. Hope to see you guys next time. If you like what I had to say or if you have comments, please place them below. Give me a big thumbs up. Let me know if you like this video and want to see more things like this. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.